Zeke up the middle into the end zone for the touchdown. Says on the beat, boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cause he wore the light. Yeah, the lights I've been with. Midnight through the sea. I've been going through some things, trying to get my money right. Push the bucket to the lid. Push that bitch into the fish. Gotta get the full control, gotta get my money right. Yeah, lights I've been with. Midnight through the sea. I've been going through some things, trying to get my money right. Push the bucket to the lid. Push that bitch into the fish. Gotta get the full control, gotta get my money right. What's going on, Cowboy Faithful? It's your boy DMV back with another one. We're going to do a film study. As you guys know, Terrence Steele uh, has gone down. Not sure exactly what the prognosis is right now, but we know that we have a vacancy to fill at right tackle. We know that Josh Ball jumped in there, did not do very well yesterday. Jason Peters had to jump in at right tackle and save the day for us on that last drive. So what we're going to do is we're going to break down that last drive and how well he actually did. So I, I'm going to grade it out, and we're going to have a grading system. We have, this is how I break, used to break down things when I had a position group in high school. We would have alignment, assignment, execution. And you get any plus for any impact play on top of that. So let's let's get to it. Now just to let you guys know, it can be a little bit nitpicky. I thought on this play his alignment and assignment was good. But I didn't think his kick step was as fast. I don't think he anchored down fast enough. And the bull rush got to him a bit. But Dak was able to get the ball off and we got a completion. For plays like this one, this is why you love having a veteran here to step in. He's going to recognize the stunt, pass it to Zach Martin. Look, kick step, passes it along. Then he's going to get to his guy. This offers Dak to step underneath, offers him a lane to run for a first down here. Excellent play, excellent execution. As you can see, he's starting to get more comfortable. As he's gotten more comfortable, he gets better throughout this drive. He's going to kick step, recognize, get his hands in place. And washes the guy upfield, and we get another first down. I don't care who you are. We knew this as Cowboy fans when he was an Eagle. Once he sets that anchor down, it's hard to move this guy. He's going to set that anchor right there. Boom, clean pocket for Dak to find Zeke on the check down. See, this play was a little hard to analyze because it looks like it's a slide protection. I don't know if the communication between him and Zach Martin is all the way there. Zach Martin's a little bit late. Uh, doesn't recognize that there's a stunt and gets caught. But Dak is able to get it off the CD Lamb right there. And then we sneak it for a first down. So that's a double whammy. Like I told you time and time again, this guy says to anchor, bro, you're not going to move him. Once he recognizes what you're going to do, once uh, this recognition of what your rush is, uh, good luck. Clean pocket, completion, big play. Another play, they're going to try to bull rush on the outside. Almost effective, but Dak would have had a step up in the pocket if he needed so. So I thought the execution on that was good. Big play to Schultz down to the goal line. Now, communication was a little off on this one. Um, left side got off faster than the right side, but that didn't really stop the play itself. Um, I didn't think it was his greatest rep, but it was okay. This play was a little hard to analyze. I think they were trying to give the illusion of an RPO, and he steps down, and they actually run a stunt, and the guy's uncovered, and Zeke actually saves the day on this uh, by cutting a defensive end here. Now, this should have been caught for a touchdown, but you know how it goes. Um, we live to fight another down, and on this one, we're going to punch it in the end zone for a touchdown, and that's the game-winning play right here peters does an excellent job there the whole line does we get a surge touchdown so by my calculations that was about 10 plays and jason peters did a pretty solid job at right tackle especially once he uh kind of got comfortable with the position now for somebody who just jumped in hadn't taken any reps since 2005 i thought he did a fantastic job i graded him out to a 90 percent out of those 10 reps and i think that he's only going to get better as time goes on but there's no telling what's going to happen, how they're going to work the rotation. Jerry Jones said something along the lines of them trying to work a rotation between him and Ball. Yeah, scrap all of that stuff. I saw enough in that drive to know that Josh Ball can't even play in that stratosphere. There's, there's no point in playing with it, just like they did on that last drive. Put the pride aside. Put this guy at right tackle. 
Now, going forward, what they want to do with Tyron Smith and, and Tyler Smith, if they want to create a dominant left side of that line, that's another discussion that we could discuss later on this week. But I think as it stands right now, you found your right tackle with still going out. All right, guys, let me know what you think in the comment section. I'm out. Peace.